Okay, here is another video of the InSwan document camera using Documate, which is the application that comes along with the tool. We are looking at a live image of my document camera. That's the eyeball that's here. You can also record what you're creating. And I think that there's um, probably some good possibilities here for people who use the document camera live in the classroom, but maybe you're teaching in a blended or a high flex situation where you want to capture your lecture and whatever it is that you displayed or annotated using your document camera. And you could um, record while you're lecturing and then use that recording later on in your learning management system. That's definitely something worth experimenting with. On the left hand side we have some authoring tools and then on the right hand side we have some annotation tools. So here with the left hand side you can take a snapshot of your drawings. Um, you can also do intervals of snapshot so if you don't want to have to remember to take snapshots you can um, set the interval timer to take them periodically and um, you again you can do a live recording. There is a microphone built into the camera. I haven't tried that yet. I don't have high hopes for it. I think I mentioned that before, but we'll see. <laughs> Jury's out. So to begin with, I'm going to import an image. And I'm just thinking about what could we do with an imported image? And I think annotating is probably one of the most straightforward applications. So here's the document camera and then the image was uploaded from my computer and now I can add some notes. So there's one possibility for what we could do. Now let's see what happens when we take this as a snapshot. What does that look like? So we are going to go into document and see what that snapshot looks like. So you can see it only captured the notes that I took. So you would also have to share the image in addition to the notes. What happens if I export? didn't seem to like that at all. Maybe there was nothing to export. So we're going to bring our image back and now I'm going to try the drawing tool. So I have a touch screen here. I'm going to grab my pen and what happens if I just annotate on this image? that's what it's capturing. So if I export my drawing, it's any annotations that I added with the drawing tools. Very good to know. Let's get ourselves um, a clean board here. Then I just wanted to look at one other possibility and that is maybe I want to create a diagram of something that I have here. So here I have a very rare, rarely seen in the wild spider. Auto focus on it. There is my spider. I'm 
I wonder if that is a little too reflective. There we go. That's much better. And let's say I wanted to add some notes to our spider here. That's something that I could do with our drawing tool. So this is using my touch screen. <laughs> I'm writing it at such a strange angle. <laughs> I'm trying to communicate that this is a rubber <laughs> spider, and that's why we don't often see it in the wild. So what happens then if we take a snapshot of this? And what happens if we export? So the export captured my writing. But the snapshot captured both. Very good. That's nice. It's good to know. Okay, so moving on here, let's clear this out. This video is probably getting long. The final thing I wanted to look at was drawing mode. Here you can have a whiteboard or a blackboard, and you can take notes directly onto your screen. So if you wanted to flip into uh, just a note-taking mode, that, that would be a possibility for you. The next thing that I'm going to do is just capture a video um, using this and share what that video looks like.